SMA reader, Crowsong! And today I will be reading to you from Take Two by Muriel Wright. Now, on to Chapter 38, Valentine's Gift. America sat on the couch. This time he was in his own apartment. He didn't stay over like he usually does. The American man stared at his phone at the calendar that had 14th of February highlighted in red. Suddenly, there was a knock on his front door. When the door was opened, a woman in formal attire carrying heavy paper bags for her dear life. She hobbled over and dropped the bags on the coffee table. Contents spilled out. It was a variety of Valentine's gifts. From your friends and fans... She sighed and plopped down on the couch next to America in exhaustion. Thanks for the hard work, Ukraine. I am your manager now. It's no problem. She then began to sort out the gifts. You can feel free to eat the edible ones from your friends. I don't recommend eating the ones from your fans. As for the ones you can't eat, I already had them checked for cameras and such. So you can decide for yourself what you want to do with them. Thanks. My old manager would usually immediately throw out all the gifts I have, so I have never actually seen the things my fans give to me. The American picked up a teddy bear with a heart-shaped card in it that read, Happy Valentine's Day. He had fun going through everything that he was given. Ukraine noticed he left all the edibles untouched. Are you not hungry? I know you really like sweets, so don't worry, none of the ones your friends gave you are dangerous. It's nothing. It's Valentine's Day, and I have a boyfriend now, so I'll wait to get something from him first. I'm pretty certain he'll give me chocolates or something. He knows I like them. Wouldn't want him getting jealous, would I? She repacked the edibles into the paper bag. I hardly doubt he'd get jealous. The American leaned back lazily on the couch. He doesn't say it, but I can tell sometimes. Ukraine scoffed. I'm starting to get jealous of him for having such a considerate partner. She heaved up the bag, then arranged it neatly in the kitchen cabinet. Don't be. You're a beautiful lady. I'm sure you can find someone. He scrolled through his social media feed and posted, Happy Valentine's Day! with a picture of himself and one of the gifts he'd received on his feed. Seconds after posting, the sea of likes and comments flooded in like a tidal wave. Which reminds me, did you get anything for him? Ukraine dusted her hands off after finishing. I'm glad you asked. Of course I did. How could I not? I actually spent a few days brainstorming relentlessly. He chuckled playfully. It better not be anything sweet. My brother doesn't like that, and I don't expect him to inform you about it. But I'm also pretty sure he'd be happy with anything you give him. America raised an eyebrow. He never told me about this. I'll punish him accordingly later. But my gift isn't food-related, fortunately. America glanced over at the dragon doll on top of his shelf. He lifted himself to his feet, feeling excited and giddy, wondering how Russia would react to his gift. I'm heading over right now. See ya! Ukraine waved him goodbye as he slowly shut the door behind him. The American stood in front of the door with his gift. He inputted the code into Russia's place. 040776, he typed it one by one. The door clicked open. As he pushed open the door and made his way into the living room, it was very quiet, as usual. It seems the Russian isn't home yet.
When the door did click open again, the American shot to his feet nervously with his gift behind his back. The familiar tall male walked in and shut the door behind him. When they came face to face, both of them were awkward and flustered. They didn't know what to say. I... The two of them said at the same time. They both shoved something in front of each other's faces. Both of their eyes shut in embarrassment as well. When America slowly opened his eyes, he saw a bouquet of chamomile flowers in front of him. They were small, but amounted in hundreds. Meanwhile, Russia opened his eyes to a bouquet of roses in front of him. Looks like we thought of the same thing. America chuckled. His face brightened significantly. Russia didn't say anything, but stared silently. Sorry, you were so good-looking, I forgot what I was going to say. The realization hit Russia as he widened his eyes and his face reddened. Did I say that out loud? Yes, you did. The American laughed. He took the bouquet from Russia's hands and vice versa. Brings back so many memories. The shorter male admired the flowers in his hands as he was reminded of events from years ago. The both of them felt the butterflies in their stomach. I kind of expected you to get sweets for me, but this is better, he continued and fell backwards onto the couch. Russia adverted his gaze. Well, he reached into a bag and pulled out a chocolate box. I did also get you this. America gave a grin. You do know me best. He took the chocolates and started eating them. By the way, it's almost a month. You know what that means. Russia nodded as he sat on the couch next to America. No more hiding. I can't wait to see everyone's reactions. They're definitely going to be shocked. The bright sunlight illuminated the room. The air felt warm. Let's join this. It's like a question-answer live podcast as we play games. I heard these things are pretty famous right now. America pulled up an offer he got on his phone. I don't feel like going outside right now either. Russia sighed in exhaustion. Great, then I'll contact them. I won't announce it on the show unless they ask about relationships. We can hold it off as long as we want, as long as they don't directly ask. How are your gaming skills anyway? America asked him while typing out something to Ukraine. Not the best, he answered regrettably, then continued. We didn't have that much video games back then. When America pressed the send button, he laid down on the Russian's lap while still on his phone. Russia also pulled out his phone. Then there was a click noise. Did you just take a picture of me? Russia sent the picture he took of America through messages. Hmm, I do look pretty hot in the picture. The taller male chuckled lightly. America ate another piece of chocolate. Then he took one and lifted it to Russia's mouth. He accepted and ate it out of the shorter male's hand. You don't like sweets. When were you going to tell me? I wonder how I'm going to punish you for this. America smirked. I didn't think it was necessary to say, Russia answered nonchalantly. America stared at his good-looking face. Handsome dumbass, he said with a smile. A dumbass for being so in love. I'm your dumbass. So, you're self-aware. And that's the end of this chapter. I hope you enjoyed. Anyway, that being said, I would like to invite you to join us on the Discord, which is linked down in the description below.
With that being said, I hope you have a nice rest of your day, night, or whatever it is for you. Just enjoy your time. And I will see you tomorrow.